Hey guys, it's Jedi Lex, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Confined, which is the first episode of the three-episode premiere that came out today for the third and final season of Bad Batch, and I know that I'm not reacting to it at three o'clock in the morning. I did have school this morning, but I'm home now, and I'm super excited to watch the first three episodes, record my reactions, and try to get them posted for you guys. I've been anticipating the release of the third season in the three-episode premiere, and leading up to this, I even re-watched season one and two, and in Anticipation, and it got me even more excited to see how they're going to finish out this series, but I don't want to delay it anymore. I'm super excited, so let's jump right into it. What could that be? Why hasn't the shuttle Ooh, arrived? Hemlock. Hemlock is so cold. <gasps> there she is. There's Omega. Or Omega. Thank oh, you, there's Omega. her sister. We have much to do. Oh, I wonder what she's talking about. What do they have to do? They have matching outfits. It's kind of cute. Oh, there! Oh, he looks so sad. He didn't even look at her. Oh, poor Omega. Huh, what are they doing? Blood? Why? Yeah, why? No, don't do it, Omega. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. It's nice not being alone. I don't think any of us knew she had a sister. It's a lot of clone blood. Wonder what they're gonna do with it. No, there's not the same. Oh, what is she doing? She's throwing out. Why are you discarding it? Interesting. I wonder what they're doing with the research and why she kind of discarded Omega's blood. It's interesting. Shall we head to the vault? The vault? What's in the vault? That's exciting. Is this the vault? That's a lot of security. Ooh wee. Interesting. Wonder what they're for. Is she collecting hay? No, oh, she have a little friend. No, oh, she gave him chicken nuggets. <laughs> There is no we, and there is no escape. Oh, come on, Crosshair. Not every clone is your ally. Oh, that's deep. No, he's trembling. He's got a little tremor. Oh, I'm sad to see that. I'm sure they're going to end up working together anyways, though. But Counting the base, she's been there. Was that five, ten, fifteen, twenty? Getting close to a month that she's been there. Yeah, what does she need these for? So interesting. No, oh, it's a little doll. Wait, is that like a little version of Wrecker's stuffed animal that they had? Oh, it was Lula. That's what the name of it was, Lula. She made her own version of Lula. A Wrecker's Lula. Oh, wow. The days have jumped, boy. And her hair's gotten longer. Interesting. Normal crosshair again. She didn't even say anything. She didn't even look at him. Blood samples. I wonder if Nalise is still discording them. Yep, she's still erasing them. I wonder why. I wonder if they're trying to do like some coagulation, like trying to get it to match. They know with blood typing you need a certain type of blood to kind of have that match, but I don't know. You would assume all clones' blood is the same blood. I don't know why it would be different or why they're testing different clones. Forget me. Complete the mission. Not without you. Yeah, she's not gonna leave Crosshair behind. I wouldn't think twice about leaving you behind. What? Crosshair would leave her behind, but she wants to save him. Come on, Crosshair. None of us belong in here. Yeah, no one belongs in there, Crosshair. No, not her Lula. Be pleased. We accomplished a successful transfer. Successful. Successful transfer. I would hate to think you were intentionally 
delay this infection. Yeah, he's got to be on to her at this point. Oh, <laughs> whoa. There's some action. Or what? Or what? Tell him, Omega. He won't work for you if you hurt me. <laughs> She's got you, Hemlock. Your friend in the detention block, however, may not be as fortunate. <gasps> oh no. She's gonna hurt Crosshair, man. What is up with this water thing? They keep showing the dripping water. What is that? Why is that, really? <gasps> she has Lula! Emery's got Lula? That was nice. So there you guys have it. That is my reaction to the first episode of the third and final season of Bad Batch. And honestly, I'm not sure what to think of it so far. I think with any new season or series, though, there is some groundwork that needs to be laid. And I think that's exactly what this first episode was trying to do. We did get to see this vault, or we really didn't get to see it, but they started mentioning it. We did see that it is heavily guarded, though. And whenever Hemlock and Nalase were talking about it, they kept referencing Palpatine. So whatever is in that vault is obviously for Palpatine. And Hemlock is a little suspicious of Nala say that she is kind of impeding the process and he doesn't know I don't think yet that she is discarding Omega's blood and maybe that's the key to whatever's inside of that vault and then speaking of the blood they also kind of showed that process I'm not sure exactly what that's for what they're looking for but they're taking vials of the clone's blood and then they're dripping some other blood substance it looks like into the vials and maybe they're trying to test for compatibility or maybe something within the blood or seeing if it coagulates again we aren't really sure but but she is discarding Omega's blood, and it's probably for good reason. And then on top of that, it is interesting to see that Emery is starting to show some compassion towards Omega, which I think is really good. I mean, she did return her homemade Lula doll, which reminds her of Wrecker, of course, because Wrecker had a doll just like that. So she kind of made her own. I mean, she's been there for a while, so it's probably nice to have a part of the boys with her. But I did try to count up some of the tick marks, and I got to like 90, but there was definitely more after that. So she's been there for at least three months so i mean she's been there for a while you can see that by her hair growth and speaking of her cell why did it keep showing that dripping fountain they showed it several times and i don't understand it but again Overall, I think it was a really good episode. I'm excited to watch the second and third episode and then all the episodes following, but let me know what you guys think of the episode or if you picked up on something that I didn't pick up on, but I think it's very interesting, especially her relationship with Crosshair. He seems very doubtful that they're going to be able to escape, but Omega, of course, is very optimistic and she's very compassionate, as you can see, by her relationship and freeing that animal. But I'm not sure what to think again so far, but I did enjoy it. I did not like it, but I am excited to watch episode two. So be on the lookout for that reaction. And as always, guys, thank you for watching my videos. I'll see you next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, or even click to watch one of my other videos and may the force be with you.